you know, okay, I think you see that I've had a renaissance. I'm finding myself to be as excited as I normally am. I am fascinated, delighted. It's so fun to learn all this stuff, all these details, all these hard processes, and then have like these applications where you actually now can figure out how does this mRNA vaccine work? Like what? Why mRNA? Like why would this work? Well, this vaccine, I'm just going to, um, let's just draw ourselves a picture. It really does have the, ch I mean, I want to go back to that, that website again and show you the, the RNA chunk that codes for the spike protein, spike protein, which was that protein that binds to the ACE2 receptor to get into your cell because they sequenced the SARS-CoV-2 genome so quickly. They were able to say, hey, this is a chunk of RNA that codes for the spike protein. Then they wrapped it in a lipid bilayer. What? They wrapped it in cell membrane. Why? So it would easily get into your cells. Okay, it's totally not cool that we all know so much about COVID-19, global pandemic, like, uh, lame. I'd rather not know about it. But it's really amazing to think about how this vaccine works. You take the lipid blob, you stick the mRNA inside of it. It's all prepped, ready to go. It, because it's in a lipid blob, it's like endocytosis. It just goes through the cell membrane and into the cell where now the cell is like, oh gosh, this is a wild time. There's presents coming from all over the place. Here's another piece of messenger RNA. Yes, I'll take care of that for you. And your cell translates the messenger RNA from the vaccine and turns it into this random spike protein. Now the spike protein is like, can't do anything. Spike protein's garbage. Spike protein is like just nothing. <laughs> It doesn't let anything get into the cell. It definitely doesn't replicate any DNA. It doesn't carry anything helpful. It's just a protein. But your immune system, once that spike protein is built by your very own cells from the food you ate, oh, what? <laughs> All those amino acids. That spike protein is going to go out and cause an immune response. Spike protein causes an immune response. And I'll tell you right now, if we were together, my next question for you would be, how many of you felt like crap after you got your vaccine? Yeah, totally. Because your body is having an immune response to all these random spike proteins you suddenly created. Here's the magic. This is how vaccines work. And vaccines are quite possibly, you could argue, the most important. Okay, next to antibiotics, I don't know. We could have a debate. What has been better for the health of humans, antibiotics or vaccines, survival of humans? This immune response creates you know, the stuff, the fallout from an immune response. An immune response is war. It's your body waging war on some foreign invader. And there's consequences of war. There's fallout. And those are the symptoms that you feel. So you get kind of sick and feel gnarly. 
But the end result of the immune response is that you create memory. You actually create memory cells. Dude, and those guys are like gold. Those guys say, if SARS-CoV-2 tries to get in, those memory cells go, uh -huh, nice try. I know you, and they mount this massive, effective immune response, and you don't even know it's happening because you just don't get sick. You, your body has all the tools it needs. It's like that, that those memory cells, the first time you're exposed to something, you take notes. I mean, haven't we all done this? You, the first time you take a test in a new class, you like sometimes didn't prepare right. But the second time you're like, okay, I learned my lesson and I've got my strategies. And the same is true with your immune system. You, the first time you're infected, you're not super efficient. But the second time you're infected, your body's like, been here, done this. I know exactly how to um, deal, I know how to deal with this guy, and your body has the perfect response. That's the logic of vaccines, and indeed, the vaccines, um, they worked. They, this creating immunity through um, the response to a spike protein, it worked. And the vaccine was developed fast, like, in less than a year, the uh, vaccine was developed and available, which uh, it, that is just one of the most unbelievable things. The way that that happened, the possibilities, how we prioritize when we do that. It's, it's pretty remarkable to think about what we're capable of. Um, and I guess that's all I have to say. I would love to talk more about the immune system, but you have to come to physio to take physio with me. And then we'll talk about the immune system um, for two whole lectures because it's really cool how amazing it is. Thank you for hanging out with me in this lecture and um, being patient with um, my little intro. I feel a million times better now and um, I like imagining y'all out there. Okay, I'd give you high fives and hugs right now, and maybe we would have ice cream. Okay, bye-bye.